Hey, good afternoon. It's a boomtastic Friday here. Bart in St. Louis and my buddy Rudy in New York. Rudy, how are you, my friend? Hey, man, I'm in here right here in New York City. I'm uh, the best city in the world. <laughs> Tell me about it. <laughs> I love hey, Rudy, this time last week, we were standing in line, been standing in line for two hours just to register for Vision with Thy Boomerang. How has your life changed since last Friday? Man, I, I, I'm going to tell you this, all right? So mm -hmm. I have never, I mean, the last time I actually st stood in line was when I was signing up for college. Oh, wow. That was the last time I, <laughs> that was the last time I stood in line for anything. But I, I came to realize I had to stand in line for this opportunity because I saw over 5,000 people standing on the line to get their tickets, to get mm -hmm. access into the hall. And I came to ask myself, why would 5,000 people leave their homes, you know, their jobs, their kids, their families, their hobbies, in order to be here? There's gotta be something here, mm -hmm. you know? And um, on that note, I was, I said, you know what? It's, if I have to be on the line, let's do it. Let's mm -hmm. be on the line and let's see what's going on. And um, since then, I mean, since then my life has, no, I've been the same, man. I mean, I've met several people and um, I've been able to, I was exposed to more and more opportunities within the organization. And since then, man, I, you know, it's just been rocking and rolling, you know? Absolutely. I, get I mean, ever since we were there this weekend, I have had been inundated with people wanting to friend me on Facebook or follow me on Instagram or Twitter. And it's just one big family starting to all come together. I've never seen anything quite like it. It's almost like this is the purpose behind iBoomerang as opposed to us having this unbelievable piece of technology sitting right in front of us. Absolutely. Absolutely. Because, I mean, the, the connectivity, the people, because, mm -hmm. I, I mean, one of the things I actually got from what the CEO, Mr. Halting Box, said, we are a brotherhood. You know, we yes. are a brotherhood with sisterhood. We are a family because yes. family comes first. Mm -hmm. Remember, you can lose your money, you can lose everything, you can lose even the boomerang. Mm -hmm. But you never lose those people who are standing there by you, you know, during those hard, during those moments. Because I mean, he said, if, for example, a diamond, right, losing his momentum, mm -hmm. I mean, that was crazy. Because he said, a diamond losing his, losing his momentum, every diamond here will sacrifice a specific period of time. Right. To go there and support this person to build your business. Right. I mean, this is like, as soon as you step into the opportunity, you just get all the support. Right. And the thing that I love the most about what Mr. Buzz has put together, and it's true, and it's why we're all a brotherhood sisterhood, underlying all of this is personal development. Right. It's about who you are and who you're becoming. And if you don't work on that first... You're not going to be successful at anything in life. And that's how this whole thing is built. I just absolutely embrace what he's doing. I mean, the, from the point of personal development, right? You're mm -hmm. thinking about right now, I would say that self-help, the self-help industry is mm -hmm. taking personal development to the next level. Right. You know, there's so much information out there about personal development, about books, about videos, motivational mm -hmm. quotes. People keep reposting quotes day, and, you know, day in, day out. Right. At the end of the day, you want to actually see the impact of all, the, all those information. Mm -hmm. People can watch videos for all they like. You can read as many books as you want to. But if you don't have any opportunity to implement everything that, that, that you've learned and to actually change your life, it doesn't make any sense. No, and it doesn't. being in an environment like this, being in an environment like where we are today, you know, we are meeting with friends and families and you can actually see yourself implementing everything that you've learned coming from the books, coming from the videos, learning how to communicate with people better, learning how to help other people change their lives. You know, it's just incredible. It's incredible, it's incredible man. It, it really is. When you, when you see someone new, when you, when you meet a stranger, you realize that person really isn't a stranger because you and that person have something in common. Absolutely. You're breathing the same air. You've got something in common. So embrace that commonality and make it all work for you. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. I mean, that, those are like, those are some of the benefits that we get, you know, mm -hmm. from um, 
some of the benefits we get from being in an organization that doesn't just think about money or products, but think about you as a person and uh, you as a family. You know, right. our, my group, my group in New York, we call ourselves a family, which uh-huh. means the team and the family, you know, and uh, the family comes first. Exactly. You know, then the team will come in between because we work together, we help each other, we cry, we mm-hmm. cry together and we laugh together. You know, that's, that's just the way it rolls. There was a lot of laughter, a lot of tears over the weekend, and they were tears of just really being really blown <laughs> away by who the people are and what we have going. You know, the, the only regret I have from the whole weekend is yeah. I wasn't, I'm not a woman. I couldn't go to, to Mrs. Bug's thing on Monday because I hear that was totally off the wall. The, the, the fact the that this whole group just pulls it together is just amazing to me. No, Mrs. Bugs, man. I, I mean, I, I wasn't at the event, but I saw the pictures. Yeah. I spoke to a couple of women who went to the event. And it was, I mean, it was just fantastic. Because, I mean, the time they spent there, the commitment, the, com- the, the community they built among themselves, it's just incredible. You know, having, and it's also one of the things that I also see about encouraging this business to grow as a family. You know, because... Family members in different in other companies or different organizations, families wouldn't have an opportunity to actually work together, mm-hmm. you know. And uh, but in an opportunity like this, you can actually see a family member working together, husband and wife, spouse, whatever. They work right. together, and now you're seeing how they support each other, and that's one of the key areas that I think Miss, you know, Mrs. Box was really stressing about. Holding young women or holding women in general, say so you are mm-hmm. not you are not a second class citizen. No, exactly. You, know, you you are a you are a woman and you mm-hmm. are you are powerful. You 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 know she's empowering women and I really 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 you know I'm excited about that. Oh, I totally agree. You, you asked me earlier to be thinking about something. You know, how are we just different from other companies out there? And we've been talking about it all along right now. And, and you know, for me, I guess the first thing is we don't sell anything. We give our product away. The only way we make money is if someone saves money. So that's a no-brainer. But I think more importantly, Holton told a story. HB told a story, and I've heard it many times, but never resonated until I really saw it this past weekend. And it's the story of the fish, the elephant, and the monkey. And they're all in the same (laughs) class together. They have only one test to take to graduate. And then they they got to climb that tree. And the fish says, hey, wait a minute, if I come out of water, I'm going to die. And the elephant says, hey, if I try to climb that tree, I'm going to knock it over and crush it. And the monkey goes, I got this. And so the <laughs> monkey knows that that's part for him. But the instructor says, hey, it's, it's, it's all of you get the same task. It's fair. What, what, what they have created here is the opportunity for fish and elephants and monkeys and every part of the animal kingdom, including you and me, to be successful. And that, to me, says you look at it from a whole different perspective. Man, you know, you know, one of the things, I mean, I've been to, I've been in different organizations, you know, mm-hmm. but um, you'll see, I mean, some organizations, they, they have products, they have services, I mean, whatever, right? Right. And they're thinking about, for people to be successful, you got to be a strong mm-hmm. recruiter, somebody who mm-hmm. recruits people to join the business. I mean, there are people who are very good at that. That's, I mean, there's nothing right. wrong with that, mm-hmm. you know? But how about somebody who say, I'm, I, you know, I'm shy, I'm timid, I don't like to talk to people. Mm-hmm. How do I, how does this person, so this person will never ever succeed in the, you know, in the industry. And <laughs> one of the aspects that I really think about, I bring around being different, you know, mm-hmm. because of the fact that we're able to target these areas, which is where everybody, like everyone in the industry is so concerned about, you know, mm-hmm. recruiting, people are having their, you know, they are, they are scared to talk to, to their fellow human beings. And, right. uh, but what you just described about the story of the fish, the elephant, and the monkey is just incredible because he said the monkey doesn't have any problem. You know, which right. is the, the, for, for example, that was a strong recruiter. And right. for you and I, who will be called, you know, we can call ourselves the elephant and the fish. Mm-hmm. So we'll be thinking to ourselves, how do I get my head on the, you know, on the tree? Like, how do I get yeah. on the tree? So we we'll almost never have an opportunity to be at the top. Mm-hmm. But in this organization, in this company, this is what it's all about. You know, right. people, I've never seen an opportunity where it's being created by the people for the people. I mean, one exactly. of the things that I'm thinking about, the, 
our CEO, Mr. Hartman Boss, was actually a distributor. Mm -hmm. You know, he so is. he being a distributor, he actually understands the pains, the struggles, the compensation, the complaints, the worries, everything right. about it, about being a distributor. And mm -hmm. him bringing this concept to us and, you know, telling us, you can actually do this mm -hmm. regardless of where you are, where, you know, what, whatever you classify yourself to be. You, if, you want, if you call yourself to be a monkey or the, or the elephant or the fish, right. you mm -hmm. can do this. Right. And, man, I'm seeing... Myself, I'm surprised at the results that I'm getting because, you know, <laughs> I'm surprised at the results that I'm getting. I'm just super excited about this opportunity, man. Oh, ab absolutely. And, and, and you hit something there. And, and it's, it's about the, 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 the results that we're getting. And right. because the results are not just, you know, do you want to be part of this and be an ambassador like you and I are? The results are also like, you know, I... I want to give this to you. In fact, this morning I woke up and I have a friend that I, I never met him. Uh, hopefully someday I will like I met you. <laughs> right. But we've been chatting back and forth. He's a young actor and musician out in L.A. He's, he's out in Texas right now auditioning for a major role in a movie. And Jonathan reached out to me and said, Bart, he said, I have to go to Amsterdam. Can you help me out? And I said, I have a boomerang for you. Here it is. Look there, look for the flights, look for the hotels. While you're there, check out the restaurants, check out the activities and all. I mean, that's just giving it to someone because okay. we can go back and forth. I can try to figure out his schedule and everything, but he knows what he wants to do. There it is. And the savings are going to be astronomical for him. Wow. That's amazing, man. That's truly amazing. You know, uh, in the same, in the same light, I was having a conversation with my friend, Mark, mm -hmm. uh, Mark last night, Mark actually called me up, you know, we've been, uh, we've been in the same group in different organizations. So right. he called me up. He's like, Hey, Rudy, what's going on? What are you doing right now? You know, oh. I said, hey, man, I don't just have an opportunity because um, I have something which I know really, really resonates with you, you know, and um, he's a guy, he's more like a humanitarian guy, you know, right. he gives out to people and goodwill mm -hmm. and stuff like that. I said, hey, man, I have an opportunity which doesn't just let you be able to do it as a business, you know, mm -hmm. but also you're able to impact the lives of other people around the world. Right. And this is what you love. You're able to impact the life of other people by, you know, giving them, I said, each person that uses a boomerang, that activates a boomerang, you are right. feeding a kid in mm -hmm. another country. Right. You're feeding a hungry kid who wants to go to school. I said, this is an incredible opportunity. And I think that you as a person, you know, with your characteristics, with who you are as a person, this is something for you. I mean, the, just the conversation, he didn't even see the either side yet. He didn't even see the presentation yeah. yet. But just the conversation, right. he, was, he was really touched and he, you know, he felt really powerful about that. And um, mm -hmm. I said, man, I, I just want you to get on board. Just get on board and let's, let's, you know, let's keep helping people, man. That's, that's what it is. Exactly. And, and you hit something. I mean, you don't have to see the presentation. Just be part of the dialogue like you and I are doing right now. And right. you'll see it and you will feel it. I mean, when, when we saw the video of Mr. Peter Hirsch and the group over there feeding those children and the, and the way they had to live and the gratitude they had for getting a sandwich and a bar, a, a, a nutrient bar, you would have thought that someone had just given us a Lamborghini, you know? I mean, right. it, it, was, it was that perspective. And it was like, wow, you know, this comes first. This is part of what all this is. So yeah, that that's just that's just totally phenomenal. Amazing, amazing, man. Mm -hmm. So I, I just wanted to I just wanted to find out from you, you know, mm -hmm. what is it that actually you think about when you think about a boomerang being different when it comes to the different uh, when it comes to like the products or the services mm -hmm. or what we offer. How different right. is that with you know with uh, other companies out there? For me, the difference is the unknown. We, we have a taste of Mr. Bugs's vision. You know, we, we walked into the Orleans arena knowing we did travel and knowing there were other things about to happen. And then he introduced us to some other concepts, the, the Boom Mobile, the Vibrite, some other things. But we know there's more on the horizon. When you said that, that he is, you know, that we are part of him, he's a distributor just like the rest of us. I'll never forget, I mean, it was toward the end of the day on Sunday and he, just, he had just almost signed a deal with somebody he was just telling us a little bit about it, but he said, hey, everybody, this is your company. Do you want me to go forward with this? 
And it's like, who does that? Who does that? You know, so for it's me, am- that's it's what amazing. It's amazing yeah. because you almost never see a CEO of an organization as, as huge as iBoomerang mm-hmm. coming to the distributors and asking their opinion about, about signing the contract. Right. It, it's, <laughs> you know, it, it's, it's crazy. <laughs> and, yeah. uh, and, um, it, and I mean, this actually shows you, this shows you how much of the relationship that right. him being a person Mm-hmm. Coming from the from the angle of a, of a distributor, you right. know he can, he understands mm-hmm. that these are some of the things that distributors would like to be involved in, right. and these are the things that distributors would like to say. Mm-hmm. You know what? I think I can actually sell this product, right. and he will say, "Okay, you know what? Let's buy this product, or let's buy the whole company like we yes. always do." <laughs> I love that. You know? I love that. <laughs> We we saw that in action with with right. with him and Mr. Mr. Haynes and, and the whole group there. I mean, and Mr. Gray, we saw him hit the button right. that bought the company that created Vibrite. Oh man, it was this crazy. Is, it, you, you know something, Rich? Made think about it. In many organizations, the monkey would say, "We're going to sell bananas," right? And the elephant would say, "I'm going to sell peanuts." And the right. fish would go, "What about me?" Right. You know, right. not in this organization. Not There's all. something for everyone in there. Everyone. 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 It's just, it's, 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 it is just different. I'm so proud to say that I am just different. (laughs) Me too. (laughs) Me too. You know, when I think about it, when I think about being just different, I'm thinking about different things and I've said to myself, but you know what? We are actually different. We are. You know, the products, we're not selling any products. Mm -hmm. And um, these are, these are things that people do regardless. I mean, with the boot mobile coming in, come on. I pay my bill all the time. I don't even think about paying my phone bill. It's in here. You know, I just paid I mine this morning. Exactly. You don't even think about paying your phone bill. But what is it going to cost me to get a dollar or two dollars or five dollars every time I pay my phone bill? Or right. every time somebody else pays their phone bill and I get compensated. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> it's just simply amazing. You're right. It's simply amazing. And talking about talking about the, the vibe, right? I'm, I know mm. you... You hit a little bit on the vibe, right? Right. Mm-hmm. And how? What does it take you to take a ride or a cab or Uber or Lyft? I mean, what does it take you to do that? Like, what? What's that feeling that you get? Do you hesitate to take a ride? I, I mean, I don't understand. It's 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 funny that you you ask that because when I got ready to leave on Thursday morning, I had a taxi cab, not an Uber. Made a mistake. Had a taxi cab come pick me up, and the minute he drove in the driveway. I could hear the car about to just blow up and I'm like, I shouldn't get in there. So I got in the car in the taxi and the taxi driver said, my credit card machine isn't working. I'm only taking cash. I went, okay, we get to the end of my street and the car just totally falls apart. Oh my God. So I say, I'm done. I get my bags. I walk back to the house. I get the car and I go park at the, at the airport and right. you know, a week later of parking, you know, but anyway, I get to, um, I get up to Vegas. I thought, you know what? I'm gonna get an Uber, and I just hit that that app, and it was so easy. And then there were people that were truly engaged with it because they had some skin, more or less, in the game, as opposed to an employee that was right. the, their car. They knew this was who they were. To me, that's what Vibrite takes to the next level. Not only are you in this game, and it, it and you're part of it. And you're creating your own brand, so to speak, but you're telling your friends about it too. And if they get part of Vibride as a Vibride driver, you're going to get compensation for introducing Absolutely. that person. Absolutely. I mean, it's just it's 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 giving and giving and giving and giving and building from there. So it it, it takes it takes the whole concept of what we know as Uber and Lyft to a whole new level. Right. You know, I was actually having a conversation with one of my um, one of my friends about this. And he was like, okay, so if you give a ride to a customer, so the mm-hmm. customer only uses that ride once and you get compensated. I said, no, 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 my friend. No, no, no. So once you give this person a boomerang and the person starts, you know, becomes a boomerang customer, mm-hmm. every time they make the ride, you get paid. Yeah. Like, it, it, it's crazy. Every yeah. time they take a ride, you get mm-hmm. paid. Every right. time this person travels, 
you don't even have to be in a country. Your person doesn't, yeah. I mean, every time this person travels, which they use a boom, you know, a taxi or our boom, our vibe ride, you get compensated. Right. Exactly. The guy was, he was, I mean, he was blown away. He was like, yeah. what an opportunity. I said, that's where it is. And that's, I mean, the future is so bright. I can't even yes. see right now, but it is what it is. And uh, if, you got to position yourself right now, man. Mm -hmm. So yep. talking about position, um, mm -hmm. what do you really think to somebody who is watching this right now, right? Mm -hmm. What do you think? I mean, what do you say to this person about, about positioning? Because it's hard for you to be, in a, you know, to have an opportunity of belonging to a startup company. Right. So what do you say to somebody who is watching this right now? Somebody who is thinking to his or herself, is this something that I want to get into? Is this the right time or the right moment? Yeah. In fact, I, I talked to a guy yesterday. I had asked him that very same question. And I said, I'm going to send you our presentation called the I Decide. I want you to take a look at it, but realize there's so much more to it than just this now. But that'll give you a foundation for us to have a conversation with. I go all, all day explaining it. But when you see this I Decide, you see what the, 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 the brainchild is behind it all, how it really works, and you know what's going to happen. And then you make a decision, you know, where do you want to fit into all this? Do you want to just come in and, and, and test the waters? Do you want to get a little bit wet? Or do you say, I'm in, let's go swimming. What are we going to do here? And for me, it was a no-brainer. I mean, I, I was in the whole way because I could see the whole thing. And, and when, you, when you look at it, too, the other thing I would say to someone don't look at the products that we offer. Don't look at that. Look at the vision that we have. Because that vision is going to tell you, this is where Amazon was when all they did was sell books. Uh, I actually bought a barbecue grill off Amazon. I was blown away by this. Bought a barbecue grill off Amazon. Came okay. to the house. I was getting ready to do it. I get an email from Amazon saying, hey, you want someone to come out and put that together for you? I said, Amazon does wow. that? And they said, well... Oh, and we also have people that come out, they'll clean your house and they'll do electrical work and plumbing. And right. I'm thinking, we just travel? Oh, no, 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 no. There's so much more to this than just travel, you know. And that, that's, that's the analogy to look at with it, with what this opportunity is. You know, I, I, when, when you talk about just, I mean, when you, when you talk about Amazon, I'm thinking mm -hmm. to myself, Amazon is a, it's a whole, you know, big organization. They've been, they've been ex in existence for a couple of years. Yeah. And I'm thinking about I boomerang. We are just how how old are we again? Six months. Well, we're actually we're actually what four or five days old now. Right. I mean, but we, <laughs> we've been we've been we were we were in the we were the neonatal for about you know right. six months, but we're we've been and, since last and Sunday. We are, and we're already competing. We're already you know we're releasing products mm -hmm. to compete with the global market. Right. We're releasing products to compete with 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 with, uh, with Amazon product to compete with Apple. It's, right. I mean, with, with Uber. Mm -hmm. This is just unbelievable. Bro. It's unbelievable. It yeah, here's where I know we've made it and we're here to stay. You never heard the term Google before, before Google came out. Absolutely. Google's now a noun and a verb. Yes. iBoomerang is now a noun and a, a verb. iBoomerang, do you boomerang? I boomerang. You know, so you, it, it's, we are here. It's part of the, 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 uh, the culture of the world. I put my money on the table. Within a few years at the most, we'll be in the dictionary. I boomerang will be in the dictionary. Absolutely, man. Absolutely. Because, you know, one of the things my CEO actually said, he said, you know, it sounds cool to be, to have an iPhone. Mm -hmm. It's like you sound like a cool person to have an iPhone, right? Right. <laughs> <laughs> you're gonna be it's gonna sound cool for you to belong to Iboomeria. It is for you to be able to use our prep. I mean, talking right. about prep, mm -hmm. tell me a little bit about, about prep, man. I, I mean, because some you know, somebody may be out there and listen to this and just say prep, you know, what the heck is prep? But you know, tell us about prep. Well, prep is, is an acronym for perpetual residual income builder, but it's more than that. It's Alexa, it's Siri. I mean, you will say, Hey, prep. Uh, I want to travel to New York City to see my buddy Rudy. What you got for me? And the Prib will tell me what they have. The Prib will show me flights, will show me hotels, the whole bit. I mean, all of that is coming real soon. Uh, you know, Mr. Bugs said that 
We're going to have an app that's going to be an ecosystem app. You probably can explain that. I have no clue what all that means, but it, it's going to be cool. I know that. But we're going to have an, an ecosystem app where everything we want is right there in that app. So we're redefining the way we even work with our with our smartphones. It's just it's just it's just incredible. Mm-hmm. You know, I'm thinking about <clears throat> thinking about all all the apps that are out there. I'm thinking about mm-hmm. all the tools that company you know different um, companies use. Yeah. But I'm thinking about what we as I boomerang. You know what mm-hmm. we've been we've been able to do in the last couple of days. Like you said, you know we just we, we just. They just give birth to us. Yeah. This past weekend, we just five days old. <laughs> exactly, exactly, exactly. And and the cool thing is, we're all brothers and sisters in this together. Absolutely, absolutely. You know, I'm I'm blown away when I see some of the friend invites from people in Puerto Rico and in London and in Mexico, and I look to see who the common right. friends are, and I'm like, oh my god, okay, that's Elias's friend. And so you know, it's like you start to see all these people come together. Right. That's what he's building. I mean, it's, it's part of that unity. It's part of that camaraderie. It's like you said, with the diamonds, someone, you know, has, has to take a break for whatever reason. We got your back. Right. Absolutely. We're right there for you. Absolutely. Yeah. Hey, Bart, as we're about to head out right now, mm-hmm. so how can somebody watching at this, you know, join us in this company, somebody who say, you know what, I really love this conversation. I want to belong to this. I want to know more. Uh, how can this person reach out to us? The fastest, quickest way is just send us an instant message, a direct message here off of Facebook. Send it to us. We'll get right back to you. We both have websites you can go to. We have all over social media, but connect with us right here. Send us an instant message. Say, I want to learn more. Tell me more. Absolutely, man. Yeah. Hey, but I really love us doing this, man. So me too, brother. We, we should take, uh, we should, we want us to do this tomorrow. We should do this tomorrow, right? Let's do it tomorrow. I'm game. Let's, let's do it tomorrow. Let's. So, guys, um, everyone watching this uh, right now, just stay tuned for tomorrow. Same time, put your phone on alert. You know, um, if you're seeking for, for more information, like yeah. Bart said, send us a direct message and we'll get back to you, supply you more information on how the, how the business goes, how you can change your life, change the life of your family, change the life of your generations. And, you know, let's keep going, man. I got my boom gear on, my game day jersey on. I'm ready to oh, play, man. Oh, man. I really, really admire that. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry. Tomorrow, tomorrow, I'm going to have all my, all my gears on. Tomorrow morning, I'm going to have all my gears. I'm ready for it. All right, man. Rudy, I can't wait to connect with you tomorrow, bro. Love you, my brother, and I'll see all you right, tomorrow. Too, man. I love you, too. Hey, take care, man. All right, you too, bro. See you tomorrow. All right, see you tomorrow. Bye, everyone.